Today, we decided we're gonna kick it back old school. We are gonna be trying different fashions through the decades. I meet you in your chambers, sir. Just be like, yes, sir, okay. <laughs> Savage. Classy, bougie, ratchet. <laughs> Welcome back to Club Style. Long live the Queen! Yes, 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 yes. As you guys know, here at Club Style, we like to do a lot of stuff involving fashion. And we like to do some crazy things, you guys know. But, you know, today we decided we're gonna kick it back old school. And I'm talking old, 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 old. Like old, old, old. Like older like than old. Centuries. centuries. Guys, today we are going back to the 1800s and we are going to be trying different fashions through the decades. And after spending some quality time with these pieces, we're going to decide whether we're glad that we missed it or sad that we missed it. I love Versailles, the crown, like you name it. This is like my era for the fashion. So I'm really excited. Tiny waist, you couldn't breathe, you couldn't really yeah. sit down. I, mean, I want one of those neck cages. No! Just be like, yes, sir, mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> Just imagine one day in the world that everybody had a dress like that. Let's let's manifest this. Let's just do let's it. Let's do it now. Let's, let's do it. Let's, let's do it now. Okay. That's what this episode's all about. All right, you guys. So here are the facts. Hoop skirts were made famous by Joan of Portugal, who wanted to hide an unwanted pregnancy. People ended up loving it and how it accentuated a woman's curves. So the trend caught on for almost three hundred years. They were so big and made of such weird fabric that the women would literally catch on fire or get caught in a wagon wheel and die. That is horrible. And I'm very excited. You know why I'm excited? Why? Because when you like dance and move it just follows you and it fluffs and moves and it's very exciting. Oh my gosh! Wait, Sorry. how'd you get that on so fast? Oh, okay. Oh, this takes me back to those tents in elementary school and re recess. You guys know the one. Yeah, that's our okay. job. <laughs> This is, this is amazing. Honestly, it's so ventilated. <laughs> yeah, it does make you want to stand up a little straighter and kind of like act a little. Hello. 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 How are you? But also, say you're at a dance and you want to like kind of like get a guy's attention. Yeah. But like not give his yeah, yeah. attention. You just be like. <sighs> and show him your butt. But you hit him with your skirt. <laughs> This is a perfect one. socially distanced outfit because you can kind of know when someone's getting too close That's very before true. it's too late. You know, That's ma'am, your hoop skirt's touching my hoop skirt. Coronavirus! Yeah. I mean, when you think about it though, this is fun wearing it and to fancy events, I would be happy about it, but for a woman to have to wear this every single day, you have to think about going to the bathroom, going upstairs, like how practical is it wearing these every day? You know they did not just have Velcro like these do. You know that they had some type of crazy way right. to get out. How do you pee? Ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Wait, what is it like when you sit down? Like actually like sit, like you have to sit. Well, on a chair, they sit on chairs, right? Let me grab I feel like I'm in Sound of Music a little. All right, ladies, um, are we glad that we missed this trend or are we sad that we missed this trend? I'm sad. Oh. I like the ventilation. Mm -hmm. I'm There's sad. a lot of beautiful air flowing under here. Yeah, I'm sad. It just feels kind of like a fun, classy, different take on femininity. I'm sad too. Oh. I kind of like it. I wish that we could have this, like, this maybe once a month. The Tudor Ruff was a status symbol in the late 1500s. People could tell how rich or important you were based on the size and material of your ruff. So if you were really important, it could be up to a foot wide all around your neck. And if you were really poor, it would be made of cheap, scratchy fabric. Eventually, they went out of style because men were outlawed from wearing them because it was too womanly. You're pretty. Back at you. Hey, thank you. My dreams came true. We got our neck cages, everyone. You asked for it. You I spoke did. that into existence. You really right did. I did. Neck cages. No! This was like the original choker. I think a Tudor ruff would look really cute with your little <laughs> mini skirt. Yes, Tudor That's ruff. It. Yeah, you know. This is, how, how big would you say this is? Like three inches? I mean, can you imagine having a foot around your neck? Yeah, too? I don't see any activity where this wouldn't be in the way, like walking your dog, like golf. Honestly, I barely even recognize it. I feel uh, like it should be a nice double chin hinder. That's, that's, I feel like it's this is what I should have to do. King Louis would wear these all the time um, with his little jacket and in his little sleeves. And I have to say, it's very attractive on a man. <laughs> I really do like it. 
men wore high heels, they wore skirts, uh -huh. they wore these little froofy, froofy things around their necks, and they were confident in it. I feel like, like I Jackie have nothing to say. my like yeah. history class in college, I've learned so much more. <laughs> Listen, today we're gonna talk about Louis, okay? Yes! This was his style, this is what he wore. He was a man <laughs> on a mission and he did not care about femininity. He was like, this is where it's at. Okay, wait, we have to do our version of like Real Housewives from the 1500s, like their intro. Okay. Like the, okay. tur the turnaround intro. I love, I love it. it, I love yes. it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Sir, I'd love to have your children. You in your chambers, <gasps> sir. Is that a musket in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> <laughs> so, are we glad or are we sad that we missed the Tudor rough trend? I personally, I'm kind of glad because I'm a little claustrophobic and I don't think I'd do well with this over time. Yeah, I'm glad this is no, this is no, it's itchy. I'm a little oh. sad. Yes. <laughs> She wants to go to the chambers. <laughs> the bustle came about as an evolution of the hoop skirt. Women needed to move around a little bit more, but God forbid their dresses lose their shape. So first we had the crinoline bustle, which I was wearing. It was meant to give some room to move around, but still gave the illusion of an itty bitty waist and full hips. What is yes. this? Like, come on, women, you don't need this. I don't like think this is Right. You can't even walk through a hallway like this. You're yeah. gonna hit everybody. Yeah, doorways, you'd have to constantly like, go sideways. Like, when you're know. riding in the carriage. Why? <laughs> Just why? Honestly, it's like a nice, it seems like it'd be a nice platform for you to like carry things around. I'm sure there was a happy medium with and how And that's why really their hands was. were always like this. Because I could rest them. It looks like you have a table in front of you. So then the style evolved to really just focus on keeping the shape in the back, like the one that Madeline is wearing. This kept dresses from dragging on the ground, but also gave a little butt with a little bump, and it helped pull in your waist. Oh, okay. This I... is like the Cinderella yes, trend, yes, yes. where so, it's just like a big poof in the back. In the back. Did you ever see such a beautiful dress? Yo, I would invest in one of these today. Why? Wait, Wait I have a better like, idea. I have a better idea. I'm gonna put the skirt, this on first. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> you look oh, like, no oh my gosh. Oh, my caboose. <laughs> you look like so much personality is hiding in the back. <laughs> Wow. I kind of forget about it because it's behind me. I don't know how it would sit down. I feel like, it, yeah, it's definitely oh. like it's made of wires, so you definitely flatten your bustle. I don't foresee, I feel like maybe, it, yeah, it's just a status thing. Like they must have had to decide widely as a as a humanity that this was cool because this is like so random. So last but not least, the one that Aaron is wearing is essentially just a butt pad. Women have been obsessed with having an hourglass figure for years and this was the most comfortable way we got it in the past. So yes, get it girl. I'm actually be excited about this because how great is it to have your own like cushion with you that's yes. travel wherever you go that's true you can take it off and nap on it and everything that's very and true carriage and those bumpy rides <laughs> you really gonna need some extra protection in honestly it, yours is the best you're right it's the most comfortable one it out of all of really ours it is really comfy nap anywhere i'm gonna try this route she made it um <laughs> Junk in the truck! That one's like more realistic. Junk Ooh. in the truck. Okay, so this one really does accentuate. Oh, wow! You got the hips and the booty. Oh! Wait a minute, you gotta curve a little bit more. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> I wish it worked. You know what? This one, it, it's kind of doing some things. I'm not mad at her. She feels very um full. full. Yeah. yeah. Full. It's like when you eat a big meal, but it's in your butt. Yeah. Baby got fat. Alrighty, we have put on the things that have made us feel the most regal and the most upper class. Um, how you would say back in the 1800s, I don't know. I was obsessed with this Tudor ruffle because <laughs> Louis wore them, and if Louis wore them, I love them. Jackie can wear them. Yes, yes exactly. Yes, oh. Yeah, I thought this was pretty fun. I liked the um, the forced butt it's giving me. I, I like the flow and then you just accidentally <laughs> have a tush. Yeah, <laughs> it's like a little bit of attitude at the end. Definitely, yeah. a little, leave them with some attitude. Leave them with a bustle. Yeah. yeah. I had to do the hoop skirt. It's I so just, fun. There's too Classic. much ventilation and, and yep. it's hot, you know, mm -hmm. often in LA and I just feel like that's what we should come back to as a society. Let's bring the hoop skirt back. Thumbs up this video if you want hoop skirts to come back. And Click right here for more on clever style. Like, we can't promise it looks this good, but it's, you know, close. <laughs>